Hi Rat Squad, thank you so much for your comment. I'm going to be doing your suggestion for the next series as I just love the idea. Right, sweetheart, we're going to make dinner, okay? Okay. I'm so hungry. I know, sweetheart. I'm sorry we haven't been able to feed you this last week. It's okay. It's not alright, sweetheart, okay? We promise we're going to do better. Thank you, guys. Grab some bacon and some egg. Alright, let me go cook this up. Perfect. Ding. Right, the microwave's done. Get the bacon out. Here you are, sweetheart. Thank you. 20 minutes later. Right, it's getting quite dark, so let's give you a bath. Here we go. Okay, let's add in some bubbles. Oh, no, we've run out of bubbles. Okay, well, we can just grab some more at the shops tomorrow. Okay. Let's get you out and get you ready for bed. Put your pyjamas on. Good night, sweetheart. Night. Well, let's get to bed ourselves. All right, good idea. Let's get into my pyjamas. Get into mine. The next morning. <sighs> wake up, wake up, wake up. Oh, someone's awake early. Yeah, because I'm really hungry. Right, sweetheart, we haven't got that much food, but I'll go see what we've got in the fridge, all right? Okay, thanks. No worries, darling. Okay, I can do some avocado and egg. Sweetheart. Yay, breakfast. Mmm, thanks. No worries. Mia goes back to her room and falls asleep. Right, babe, we need to go to the shop today. Remember, I've got that £10 that I found behind the couch. Oh, yep, yeah, I remember. Well, let's get ready. Wear this. Just wear this nice dress. I'll go get Mia. Me oh, babe, come here. Yeah, what's wrong? Mia's asleep. Should we just leave her here? Yeah, good idea. Let's go. Mia's parents go to the shop, leaving Mia behind as she's asleep. Three hours later. Oh, mummy. Mum. Mum. Mum, where are you? Maybe she's in the lounge. Mum. Oh, she probably just went out. Let me just watch some TV. Yay, my favourite show. Oh, that must be mum and dad. Let me just turn this off. Mum, dad, you're not my mum and dad. Oh, sweetheart, is no one else here with you? No, I woke up from my nap and my mum and dad were gone. Right, well, let me come inside. I've got some news. Your mum and dad were in a car accident. They're in the hospital now, but we don't think they're going to make it. No! Yes, sweetheart, I'm really sorry. Let's go take you to see them. Okay. So we have the family's little daughter. Oh, yep, come on in. <laughs> Daddy, mummy! <laughs> oh, sweetheart, it's okay. Come here. I love you, mummy. I love you, Daddy. <laughs> I don't want them to go. <laughs> I want them to just come home and read me a story. Oh, sweetheart, I'm so sorry. Maybe take her out of the room. I think she's too upset. Okay, come on, darling. Both parents are gone. This is just heartbreaking. Poor little girl. She has to go all the way through foster care now. Poor thing. I'm so sorry, sir, but I'm going to need you to leave the room. Of course. Yeah, they're gone. Oh, no, that's so sad. When's mummy and daddy going to come home? Oh, sweetheart, they're not coming home. Why? Come on, we have to get you to this place and we can explain it all to you there. Comment down below for part two. Hi, thank you for your comment and here is part two. But where am I going to go? You're going to go to this place called an orphanage and someone will come and get you. But when will mummy and daddy come home? They're not going to come home, sweetheart, okay? It's just so sad, I need a minute outside. Later that evening. Um, Miss J, can you come outside, please? One second, boys. Yes, how can I help you? Here is me, the little girl I was telling you about. Oh, hello, Mia. I'm Mrs. J. I'm the orphanage teacher, or the orphanage owner, or whatever you want to call me. Bye, Mia. Bye. Poor girl. I'll give you a quick tour. So this is where these two boys sleep. This is the TV area. This is the kitchen. This is Layla. <gasps> Hi, Mia. I've heard all about you. Can you please share a room with me? Would you like to share a room with uh, Layla? Yes, please. It's so nice in here. Oh, great. This is the bathroom. It's not very big, so you have to wait your turn, but it does the job. This is the storage cupboard but you won't need to go in there this is just for me and then here is my room okay thank you no worries sweetheart i'll give you a tour of my room so I use these little shelves to get up onto the bed and then you can either sleep at the front and i'll sleep at the back or you can go at the back and i'll go at the front whatever you want but the time is 6 p.m so dinner will be done in half an hour so you can just go on my computer with me thank you right what should i make for dinner add some oil add in the chicken here we go okay guys dinner is served everyone please come to the table We've got to get there quickly because she gets a bit strict if we're not there on time. Okay, everyone, please take a seat. Okay, guys, dig in, take whatever you want. This looks yummy. Salad for me. Oh, I'm definitely having the noodles. I'll have this and I'll have the rice. 20 minutes later. That was so nice. Thank you, miss. Thank you. Thanks. Oh, um, thank you. Right, time for everyone to have a shower. Okay, let's go. Everybody line up. Right, and you guys come. Uh oh no boys and girls are allowed to be in the same shower room but you're a girl and he's a boy don't question me boys and boys go together girls and girls get out now 
Sorry. Marcus, come in here now. Okay. Okay, girls, I'll be back when I've showered the boys. <laughs> no, Mia, come here. Why did she yell at me? She's just very strict when it comes to things like that, but I promise it wasn't your fault. Let's get you both in. Meanwhile, back at Mia's old house. Why do we always get given the hard jobs? We've got to go in this house and find all the little girls' things. So sad. This must be the parents' room. So sad. Here's her room. So we we'll just grab a suitcase and this bag and just pack everything up. 20 minutes later. Okay, well, that's everything. Let's go. Girls, the shower is now free. Come on now, boys. Get you into bed. Good night, you lot. Night. Perfect. Right, come on. I'll give you a shower. Knock, knock. Ugh, who's there? Oh, hi, officers. Hi, we have all of Mia's stuff. Thank you. No worries. How's she getting on? Absolutely fine. Now, if you must, go. Oh, okay, bye. Let's put her junk over here. Thanks for giving me a shower. Right, you. All your clothes are in the other room. Comment down below if you want a part three, and I could pick your comment and tag you in it. Bye. Here is part three of the car crash. Okay, the police officer dropped all the things off in the room. Okay, thank you. That's the picture I do for mummy that I could never give to her. I'm just going to put it over here. I'm going to get my clothes on and go to bed. Okay, I'm going to have a shower. La 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 la. <gasps> oh no! I just started my lady days. Oh my god. What is going on? Oh my god, what is all of that? I kind of just started my you know what days. That is disgusting. You better have brung some products for that. Um, I might have in my bag. You are disgusting. You need to have better hygiene. That is disgusting. You can clean my whole shower out. Yes, miss, I will. Damn right you will. That is so embarrassing. Please, please, please. Yes, okay. Let me just get one out. I'm literally so embarrassed. Let me just put my pyjamas on. Go to bed. Ugh, I still feel sick. That is so gross. Imagine not being able to control your period. It's so gross. Just gonna wear this dress to bed. In the middle of the night. <gasps> oh no! Oh no, it's everywhere. <gasps> what is all this noise? <gasps> that is disgusting. You can clean that up and get your stuff and get out. You're not welcome here anymore. What? It's not my fault. Of course it is. Oh, in all my 37 years of life, that has never happened to me. You are disgusting. Oh, whatever. I need to have my last shout because I don't know if I'm going to be on the streets. <laughs> Why are you crying for your 16? Grow up. Honestly. <laughs> to take some things with me i hope you doesn't notice i've stolen them but i need them i need to just put a new one of these on there we go I get changed i was going to take my clothes some of these toothbrush toothpaste they can just buy another one i don't care and a towel bye sweetheart i hope you're gonna be okay take this chocolate and this soda bye guys so scary over here but it's the only place there's a sleeping bag okay perfect i'm gonna just sleep in here for tonight because i'm really scared the next morning, let's do a jog. <sighs> oh, sorry. No worries. Uh, are you homeless? Uh, yeah, sorry. Nah, it's calm. You're gorgeous. You want to come stay with me? Yes, of course I will. Okay, let's get your stuff. You won't need that sleeping bag because I've got an amazing bed. Thank you. No worries. Okay, here we are. Oh my goodness, it's lovely here. Ah, thanks. Right, I'll just put all your stuff away. There we go. Hang up your clothes. Thank you. One year later. Isn't our little girl just perfect? Yeah. Our family's complete. Yeah. What's wrong? You seem off. Are you okay? She just said this little girl at the orphanage I was at. And I just really want to adopt her. Do you think we could? That's an awesome idea. We need to give Myla a little sister. What's the girl at the orphanage called? Mia. So it can be Mia and Myla. I love that. Let's go get her now. Ten minutes later. Well, since this place is on the way, we should get a lottery ticket, you know, test our luck. Yeah, good idea. Comment down below if you want a part four. Bye. Replying to Tow Car Life Tree. Here is part four of the car crash. And please leave the dog out of this. Right, well, let's just buy a lottery ticket. Um, you know, just test our luck. Yeah, good idea. Um, how much are they? The lottery tickets are $3. Okay, that's fine. Thank you. Here you go. There is your ticket. Thank you. Have a good day. You too. Okay, here we are. Back in a second. Actually, can you come in? Yeah, sure. Hi, Marcus. Hi, Jamie. <gasps> You're back! I missed you so much. Yeah, and me. Oh, I missed you guys too. Do the hoovering. What is all that noise? <gasps> Layla, what are you doing back here? Well, I'm here to adopt Mia. You what? Yep. You're 17. You don't even have enough money to adopt her. 
Well, I mean, if you look at my baby, she is fed, well dressed, and very loved. So, you know, she, I have got enough money. If I can look after one kid, I can definitely look after two. There's no way you're taking her. I think you find I am. I've told the police everything. How you kicked me out because it's on my period. That's so dramatic, but whatever. Why would you do that? Please don't call the police. You could take her, just don't call the police. Miss J, you are under arrest. Too late, and we've got the paperwork back. And myself and my, like, cop team have decided that you are eligible to adopt Mia. That's great news. I'll go fetch her and then you're coming with me and these two boys have been adopted by my cousin. <sighs> Whatever. It's you, the one that told me about my mama and my dad. Yes, yeah, sweet, that's me. How are you doing? Uh, better, I guess, but my uh, my best friend Layla got kicked out. Well, Layla's here to see you and she's going to adopt you. Really? Yes, yeah, sweet, let's go have a look. <gasps> Layla! I've missed you so much. I've missed you too, babe. And guess what? We're adopting you. And this is your little sister. She's so cute. Can I hold her? Of course, sweetheart. Just sit down here. I love her. Thanks, mum. Thanks, dad. She called me mum and she called you dad. Right, sweetheart. Let's go home. This whole room is for you. You've got both beds to yourself. Oh, my God. Thank you, guys. Of course, sweetheart. Let me unpack all your stuff. Just hang up your clothes. There we go, perfect. Right, well, me and your mum have to just go check the TV for our lottery ticket. Okay, I'm going to play on the iPad. Of course, sweetheart. Okay, let's see. I doubt we've won, but, you know. Oh, shh, don't cry. Look, it's your teddy. Okay, let's see. Tonight's numbers are three. Oh, we've got three. Seven. We've got seven. Triple zero. <gasps> we've got triple zero now for the banger number. And tonight's banger number is five. <gasps> we've won the lottery. Three million dollars. No way, let me see. <gasps> oh my god, we have to go now, come on. Come on, sweetheart, we're going to go buy a mansion in Hollywood. And that's the end of the series, and they live happily ever after and buy a mansion. And yeah, comment down below what series I should do next. Thank you all so much for my support on my recent videos. It means the world to me. Bye.